Hey guys, it's Kelly from Chestnut Junction. You can shop with us at chestnutjunction.etsy.com. If you are catching us here on the Facebook replay or on the YouTube replay, you can go ahead and just tap forward a little bit um, while I wait for people to hop on and join us. Um, if you're not familiar with us, we specialize in primitives. We have video tutorials here on our Facebook page, um, as well as our Etsy shop, which is full of primitive e-patterns and supplies. So we're just waiting for some people to jump on here so we can get started this evening. Hello, Miss Kathy. How are you? And the producers just, hi, Miss Linda. The producers putting up a link to the free. Uh, hey, Miss Carrie. Hey, Teresa. Hi, Francis. Hey, Miss Vicki. Hi, Pamela. I'm happy to see you guys too. I missed you. I really did miss you. Hey, Miss Teresa. Hi, Carol. Hope you guys had a good weekend. It was a good weekend here. It's, it's getting colder, guys. It's definitely getting colder. The leaves are starting to change. Hi, Elena. Hey, Miss Katie. Hi, Susan from Texas. Hey, Miss Lupita. Hi, Luis. Oh, no, we haven't been sick. We kind of decided we would try to go do lives on Mondays and on Thursdays because we've been going live basically um, every night. And uh, stuff's kind of fallen behind. Like, you should have seen the laundry I had to do over the weekend. Um, I love to come on here and get to do lives every night, um, but the, the housework is falling behind. Hey, Miss Kim. Is that, how do you, you, is it Jutana? Jutana? Hi, Denise. Hey, Miss Diana. Hi, Sandy. Nope, if we can find a way to um, do more lives per week and get stuff done, we will do it. But for right now, we're going to try to go live on Monday and go live on Thursday. So, um, tonight we are going to be working on a reindeer poke. And the producer, I do believe, uh, put the link up there for the reindeer poke. Uh, sh uh, the pattern sheet for the reindeer poke in the comments. Um, so you just have to click on that link and that is a free download. And another thing that I have been thinking as well is that um, I'm going to, I'm going to make e-patterns out of these things that I show you here on my, uh, my Facebook page, but because you guys are showing up, Jutana, Jutana okay. Um, hey, Miss Terry. Did you, Miss Terry? Awesome. Hey, Brenda. But because you guys show up here live and support us, we're going to give you these free pattern sheets ahead of time. Uh, so that's gonna be a bonus for showing up here and supporting us through our live uh, Facebook tutorials. Um, but that'll also keep us moving ahead with being able to put product in our, um, in our Etsy shop. So you guys that show up here with our lives, um, you're gonna get these, you know, pre, um, pre-publication, let's say, um, you know, before they hit the Etsy shop. Um, 
because we, we do, we support, we appreciate you guys uh, showing up here and supporting us. So tonight we are going to be making a reindeer poke and this is the pattern sheet for, uh, for the reindeer poke. Oh, thank you guys, I appreciate it. And we've gone ahead and we've already traced out and sewn that, uh, that reindeer together. So I'm going to cut it out. We are in Ohio, Susie. I'm going to cut this reindeer out, um, allowing that quarter inch seam allowance. Hi, Sherry. And guys, if I miss any of your comments, I do go back and read all of the comments. But yeah, I was missing you guys over the weekend. I was like, I want to go live, but I told him I wouldn't be on again till Monday. Oh, you're welcome. Nice, Francis. Hey there, Miss Marlene. So I'm going to snip around the outer edge here. And if you're new to us, the reason we're snipping around this outer edge is to give our seam, our fabric, some movement. So it doesn't pucker whenever we stuff this reindeer. And hubby spent most of the weekend building a, and it's, it's still not done yet, but he spent most of the weekend building a, oh, Sherry, you're in Wheeling. Well, hey, neighbor. <laughs> But Hubby was busy all weekend building a, uh, a house for Mooch. Um, hey, Tina. So we've got our reindeer turned right side out. Mooch is much better. He's actually back on his game. And uh, now there's an orange and white cat that is showing up too. And I'm like... Is this one of Mooch's friends? Did he go back into the woods and like tell his friends that these people are suckers and they take care of me? So like now they're all gonna start coming. Yeah, Mooch is, Mooch is doing better. He's, you can tell he's putting on some weight and uh, it's been a week since he had his, uh, his surgery and his shots and all that stuff. That's what I mean, Miss Carrie. I, I do think Mooch has gone back into the woods uh, and is telling his friends, you know, about the suckers that live up on the hill. I know. But Hubby's been building him a house, and it's a very nice house, let me tell you. Hubby designed it himself. Um... And it is insulated, and he's going to get Mooch a, um, a heated pad to put in there. But if Mooch keeps bringing these friends home, we're probably going to have a kitty high rise out there because Hubby's just going to have to start stacking those houses on top of each other because Mooch keeps bringing these friends home. But it's the weirdest thing. Before Mooch was fixed... Every time we open up the door, that cat tried to get in here. Now that he's been fixed, we open the door to see if he wants to come in. He doesn't even try. Carrie, the house actually <laughs> is big enough that probably the orange kitty could get in there with Mooch. But 
that that's what uh that's what hubby spent uh the majority of his weekend doing and then like i said because we went live you know every night last week we had uh laundry you know as high as the door so i was working on that I miss going live though. It's nice to come on here in the evenings and hang out with you guys. Oh, I hope not. No, 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 no. Especially now that Mooch has been fixed. Oh, that would be awful if that cat is a female. Mm -mm, and Mooch got her beforehand. Yep, we'll have a, a kitty high rise back there on the back porch. Yes, we will have to show you pictures. He insulated it and everything. Now you watch, Mooch won't want to go in it. I'll be out there like, listen, cat, you're getting in the dang house. <laughs> the laundronita. I should have called him. We had a lot of laundry. And it's just the two of us. I don't know if I'm stuffing this thing too hard or not. It's not doing what I want it to do. So did anybody do anything fun over the weekend? I know you can get a lot of stuffing into these things. Miss Pamela, I would love that. I've always said I'd like to have a couple acres and have a big barn, like to have um, guest rooms in it that, you know, we could have crafting weekends. Wouldn't that be fun? Sign you up. <laughs> Carrie, I love her. That that makeup girl is just, I, I love her. I would never wear all of that makeup, but artistically speaking, she does a good job. You know, I can't see me, you know, pulling off some of those looks and heading to the post office, you know, but um, her artistry is, I mean, it's, it's on point. And the accent is just a plus. She is hilarious. And the funny, she looks so much different with all that makeup on than she does without. It looks like a completely different person. You cleaned out your storage unit. We used to have a storage unit. We finally cleaned it out and got rid of it. Act 
actually, I don't think, if we're talking about the stuffing, I think this is the, um, I, this is the um, morning glory. Oh, uh, well, happy Thanksgiving to everyone in, in Canada who celebrates it. So you had it on Saturday. Is, is today your Thanksgiving or was Saturday your Thanksgiving? today. Well, happy Thanksgiving. I know that's what's scaring me is it's looking like a goose. But remember before our mouse looked like a crow and he turned out okay. Hey, Lynn, happy Thanksgiving. Make it a Christmas goose. Do you guys eat the same foods? Just cook a turkey and the pumpkin pie? No, it's a reindeer. We're going to add ears on him. Hey, Miss Ann, how are you? I hear banging somewhere. Thanks, Marlene. Hey, Beverly. Okay, so I'm going to leave the bottom of this open for us to be able to wrap, wrap a stick or put the stick in and wrap the um, jute around it. And now I'm getting all paranoid that this looks like a goose. Um, paint. We need paint. No, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use felt for his ears, so I'm going to cut out two ears. And I'm... Ooh, that sounds good, Debbie. Um, Marlene, the pattern sheet is downloadable. Um, the producer can put up the, um, the producer can put up the link and, and we are using Morning Glory. So I'm going to cut my ears out of felt. Um, cut two of them. So I've got one ear cut out. Ooh, that sounds good. Maple syrup and carrots and bread pudding. It all sounds yummy.
Oops. That doesn't go in there. I stick this off to the side and we are going to paint our Mr. Producer, I forgot, um, I forgot my bottle of water. Oh, you're welcome, Marlene. Got it. Doesn't that sound good, maple syrup and carrots? Thank you. So we're gonna be painting our reindeer brown. So I'm putting some brown paint in here. Hello, Miss Nancy. And we're gonna put a little bit of water in this. Um, do you have a Hobby Lobby, Miss Deb? Who is it, Sherry? Do you have a Hobby Lobby, Sherry? In um, in Canada. Hmm. There's some uh, Etsy sellers that sell homespun, but I mean that's probably going to be a little bit more expensive. I don't think Joanne's doesn't sell homespun anymore. I don't think. I I don't I don't know were to tell you to, um, that would ship to Canada. Hey, Cousin Sandy. I've been missing you, girl. Somebody's saying Nubly's Fabric Sells Homespun. paint our felt ears here. Did you have a good weekend, Cousin Sandy? I'm sure you were off somewhere causing trouble. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding you. Jubilee Fabrics. I will have to look that up. I've never heard of it. Oh, you're welcome, Carolyn. I'm painting our felt reindeer ears here. I like the felt because it just makes the um, ears stand up better. Does Hobby Lobby ship to Canada? I don't know why Joanne started, stopped carrying the homespun. Now you almost have to go, if you can't get to Hobby Lobby, it's like you have to go to um, an actual fabric store. <laughs> I believe that, Miss Sandy. I can tell you are ornery girl. I've got one ear painted. That's true, too. Sometimes you can find it at Walmart. Some of the Walmarts stop carrying um, fabric altogether. I know our Walmart cut down on a lot. I'm going to check out Jubilee. I've never heard of that. 
That's a secret that you guys have been hiding from me. Um, Karen, the, 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 um, the pattern sheet is there in the comments. The producer, I'm sure, can put it up again. Amazon sells it too? Where the heck have I been? Well, that's sad, Miss Sandy. I know, I know some of them don't. I think it's getting to the point, and you all, you all can put your own opinions out here. It seems like that uh, retail shopping is just becoming more obsolete. Like, these companies are just basically wanting you to shop online now. Oh, you get your homespun online from Walmart. Yeah, that's what I think, Miss Sandy. That's true too, Karen. You can't argue with that. And I don't think like the younger generation uh, is used to like going out and retail shopping like we are. I think that the younger generation um, is just used to doing everything online, even grocery shopping. Like, we don't order groceries online, but I know a lot of young people that do. Yes, when we lived in Columbus, there was uh, two, I think, Amazon distribution centers in Columbus. And it was amazing in the sense that if we ordered something from Amazon, we got it the same day. Now that we've moved back to the sticks, it, it takes three or four days for us to get stuck. Yeah, no, it is convenient to be able to order from home. All right, so we are now going. I know, I make such a mess. I make a mess. I like going to the stores too. But I notice like certain things like I want to order, like, you know, we all, at least I do. I get the Mike, Michaels and the, um, Jillian's ads. Well, I want to go to order something and it'll say not available in store, you know? So I'm finding that that's what's happening a lot is they're not carrying everything in the stores anymore and they're wanting you, you know, to get it online. Are you in the U.S., Sherry?
Did somebody say something about young people in, in uh, Christmas shopping? Because it's, I should, it's an, another one of those things where I shouldn't say it. This was young people in Christmas shopping. You know, I, ever since, you know, my niece and nephew have been little, I've always gotten them something for Christmas. And whenever my sisters and I were kids, um, even if we made something, we always had to, you know, give our elders you know, gifts like aunts and uncles, grandparents. Um, and like I said, even if it was just something stupid that um, we made, we were always taught that you had to gift, um, you know, your family uh, something for Christmas. And um, I just notice... Um, Oh, you were vacuuming. But my niece and nephew, as they have grown up, they don't, they think that Christmas is still about them just getting stuff, you know, and, and they don't, uh, they don't gift us. The producer can put up a, um, Hopefully put up a link to some morning glory stuffing. But I was just going to say, that's what I notice about, you know, the younger generation. This is cinnamon brown, I think. Oh, you're welcome, Barb. But now that Chris, you know, it's getting close to to shopping for Christmas and whatnot. So I'm trying to figure out what I will be getting everybody. Or if I still want to continue, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll just make some cookies or something. Because Hubby and I, we're still the, I don't know if you guys do this, but Hubby and I, we love to bake cookies. And we're always ones. We always, um. I know that, that's, <laughs> it's sad, but that's why I tend to think, Vicky. It's just like, it loses it for me. Like, they just, they don't get it. You know what I mean? But as I say, hubby and I still like to bake cookies and, you know, take them to all the neighbors. Oh, that's a good idea, Marlene. I think the holidays are going to change with us anyway, and hubby and I are probably going to like be having to make new traditions for ourselves because, um, you know, my my mother has was diagnosed with terminal cancer, and then my nephew, he's got a little one coming next month, the end of next month. So that'll be. Um, my sister's first grandbaby. Um, so, you know, they could all wind up spending some holidays at, you know what I mean, at um, my nephew's um, girlfriend's house. So 
it's just, you know, I mean, life is changing. I always thought it would be nice to go somewhere for the holidays. You know, or like take a cruise or something. Or maybe like run a cabin in the woods. Does it still look like a goose? I hope not. Yep, they do change as we get older, Janet. Maybe we will just spend Christmas at Mooch's house. And we'll put up a little tree inside Mooch's house. I'm sure Santa would visit, you know, Mooch's house and leave us all something. It is expensive. Mooch is doing uh, very good, Miss Sandy. It's been a week and you wouldn't know that he went through anything. But I was telling the ladies earlier, um, Mooch has been like hanging around with an orange and white cat. So... Yes, we all need a big wad of catnip for Christmas. But we are wondering about Mooch's orange and white friend. No, he still wanders around. We say he go, he's got Mooch things he has to do. You know, like he's got his Mooch schedule. So he has to, you know, still make sure that he gets out there and, and does his mooch things every day. But he shows up for uh, meals and cuddles. And then he does, because we still have that crate out on the porch until uh, the producer gets his house done. But uh, he, I noticed he, he will sleep in that crate all night. Exactly, Kathy. If you guys didn't see my post earlier, Etsy is running a sale. Um, and the coupon code is YES10, Y-E-S-10. Um, and it is good for 10% off your purchase of $40 or more on Etsy. But you have to spend $40 uh, before taxes and shipping. So that's, that's a pretty good, um, 
and it's good through the 11th. If somebody asked me, oh, thank is it, <laughs> Gerilyn. Thank you, Gerilyn. No, I got it. Thank you. Hey, Tony. If you're just joining us, we are working on a reindeer poke. I'm right now, I'm drying his ears. They are felt and I painted them brown. And then this is the reindeer portion, which I painted brown. Gerilyn. Yes, $10 off if you, did I say something wrong? It's $10 off if you spend $40. And if I said it wrong, I'm sorry. Hi, Rita. And the coupon code was YES, Y-E-S-10. Now we need some sandpaper, and we're going to give our reindeer here sand. kind of brush some of the extra dust off of there and then we've got our two little reindeer ears and I did those with the felt and I'm not sure eh, a light sand on these will work well thank you miss Pam how are you I'm going to go ahead and grab some uh, crochet thread and I believe it's I believe it's size 10 can't promise you on that but that's what I think it is um, and the brand is Aunt Lydia which, which is my aunt and Miss Sandy's aunt <laughs> well, thank you, Trish. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Sandy. All right, so I've got my doll needle here. And if you didn't catch it on the Facebook page, we did get some doll needles uh, back in stock. And I am limited on them. Um... Yes, and Aunt Lydia has an alcohol problem. Um, 
<laughs> it's a whole story. If you've been here, you, you know what we're talking about. But uh, you ordered yours. To, I packed a bunch of them today, Miss Kathy. And I know I would have packed yours. Uh, so yeah, Aunt, Aunt Lydia, she, she uh, keeps us on our toes. Trying to figure out where I want to go in with this needle. I think I'm going to go in the back of the head with this needle. Uh, Gerilyn, we've been um, making we've been making patterns since um, ninety eight, and actually, our first pattern line, which I'm sure not a lot of people know. Our first pattern line, which is no longer being published, um, we did for a company called uh, the Primitive Cupboard. Or was it the Pattern Cupboard? That's sad that I can't think of that. I, th I think it's the pa it was the Pattern Cupboard. So we did, we were designing uh, for another publisher before we were uh, doing our own. But then that uh, publisher, it was a woman. Um, she did a lot of different things. But um, I think her son wound up getting sick because her kids were young at the time. Um, but we... We came in through the back with our doll needle, went all the way to the nose and brought the thread out the nose. Now we're going to sew back and forth across the front of the, the nose, just stitches back and forth right underneath the, um, right underneath the fabric that we painted. So yeah, we've been designing patterns a long time. And and you honestly, you guys can tell me what you even think about this whenever I say it. Um I would like to do like more primitive stuff. You know, I I I blah. How, how is it that I'm trying to say this? Um, I feel like I'm in a position where I can't do free form art anymore um, as Chestnut Junction because um, I'm more looked at as a pattern company rather than somebody who does finished stuff. You know, and if I do make something, I get a lot of emails wanting the pattern for it. Oh, I love primitive. But I definitely could do, like, more primitive things. But I find that what I do do is what, you know, is expected as a, chestnut junction design. Am I making sense? I mean, I love what I do. But I don't feel that chest like chestnut junction allows me um It's just not what people expect of chestnut junction. Uh, 
the name Chestnut Junction came from uh, whenever my husband and I first got married, we rented a little house that was on the corner of Chestnut Street and Pike Street. So we got the Chestnut from the Chestnut Street and then we're, you know, two roads cross each other. That's a junction. <laughs> so we got Chestnut Junction. Oh, thank you, Lynn. But it's, I, I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know if I if I want to do like really primitive patterns. I I would like to do more elaborate uh, primitives and you know and and sell them rather than do patterns for them. But then again, it's like we're starting this venture with. Facebook and the lives and um, who knows what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Hey, Miss Kimmy. Hey, Renee. Because I, speaking of Facebook lives, um, see, we're doing his nose. Um, I got invited to do an event. It's... Um, have you guys heard of the group All Things Vintage and, and Thrifted? Hey, Sandy. Hey, Sherry. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Sometimes I just want to make um, prims to sell. Carrie, you have okay. You guys have heard of all things vintage and thrifted. Well, I got invited. Oh my gosh, to do um, their Christmas event, um, which I think the producer would know, um. Or even if you go on their page, it's a, it's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it's presenters all day long. So we will be on... Um, yes, Miss Tracy invited me. Um, we will be on Sunday at 1.30. It's 1.30 Central. So that would be... Is that 2.30 here? Yes. It'd be 2.30 Eastern Standard. But yeah, I was I was tickled that um, we got invited to do that event. I don't know. I think I'm just rambling today, too. Yes. I think for the event, though, it's 30 minutes. Do, you, do any of you guys watch Craft Round the Clock? Because I Trace Miss Tracy Campbell, she has the Craft Round the Clock too. So we've stitched his um Yes, there's, and then there's supposed to be a, a, like a live market that same weekend too. That's that's sponsored by um, all things vintage. What is I'm losing my. You watch craft round the clock too. Awesome. I think it's a satin stitch, but basically I'm just going back and forth under the fabric. And now I'm going to give him a little mouth. I, 
All things vintage and thrifted, yes. But they're supposed to be having a, a market end of it too where you can sell things. Thank you, Carol. Satin stitch. Yes, Vicki. I don't like the way that looks. No, I was I was tickled we got invited to do that event. So we are on Sunday. Uh, it's one one thirty central is what time we were we will be on. So I think that's I think that's two thirty Eastern. Okay, what am what am I missing about no reindeer? I think it's it's just a satin stitch. Honestly, I I don't know. I'm not up on I just stitch things. I'm not technical about anything. <laughs> if I was making a dog. <laughs> That's funny. Well, at least we have moved it from goose to dog now. So we're we're getting closer, like to at least, at least it's not a bird anymore. Hey Erica. Okay, so I, I did two stitches there for the uh, the mouth. I know, I'm bad. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the names of stitches. Sandy. No, it's supposed to be a reindeer. If it doesn't turn out right, you know. I'm trying to figure out where his ears are going to look good. Is it looking like a reindeer yet? I hear the producer coming. I'm in trouble for something. Definitely. He asked me if I wanted to go out later. <laughs> I said, definitely. 
No, he's in here trying to tell me how to do my craft because he thinks he's the producer. Oh, the, I forgot about the antlers. That'll really make it look like a, uh, a reindeer. See, I'm trying to, that, those are the ears folded. Okay, deer's ears coming out. Where is he taking me? Probably just to the kitchen. <laughs> No, he wasn't in here asking me if I wanted to go out. He was in here trying to give me suggestions. I don't know. One of you guys suggested putting them to the side. I, I think it makes it look more like a dog if it's to the side. No, no fold. Folded looks. See, I'm, some of you are saying fold. Okay, see, I don't like them out to the side either. That looks like a Doberman. I like them folded too, myself. Yeah. I am going to take this needle back through my head, back through the deer head. Yeah, I like them folded. Throw up some heart, hit, hit that heart button if you like them folded. Yes, we are using crochet thread. So I'm not tying a knot on the back of the head. I'm just pulling these. And because there's so much thread between here and here, um, you're not gonna need a knot. So we've got his little mouth put on there. And now we're gonna grab some brown crochet thread and we're gonna sew on those ears. And then let's put our ears on. Yes, we're using Aunt Lydia's thread. <laughs> She's so generous, isn't she? Okay, I have positioned my ears on here, and I'm going to take, hey Brenda, I'm going to take my crochet thread on my doll needle, 
and I'm going to go through the head and then go, I don't know if you can see, through the ears. And then I'm going to go back the same way to the other side. Wow, that's a toughie. It doesn't want to go through. Come on. There we go. Can you see how we've gone through? Hopefully we got these even. And if you guys would rather use um, like Osnaberg or the um, muslin to do these ears, you can. I just like the felt because they're stiffer and make the um, make the ears uh, stand up. So I'm just stitching back and forth between the ears. Is everybody uh, decorated for Halloween? We have our outside decorated. We don't have anything up in the house yet. I'm afraid to put anything up with the, the cats. And it's not really the older cats, it's Brody the kitten. Does He looks like he's made of suede. Yeah, it's it's the sanding. Nice, Janet. Yeah, I'm afraid Mr. Brody is uh <laughs> you still have to get your broom tuned up. <laughs> it's in the shop. That's where mine's at. My broom's in the shop. Well, normally we have a um a tiered tray display um but that brody he just thinks that you know he can get into everything uh and i'm afraid to put anything up and i can't even imagine him with the christmas tree what's this little boy gonna do when, when we put the christmas tree up I don't know if, can you guys see that where I just stitched through there? And I knotted it on this side. Mooch is doing good. He is definitely better. And I do think neutering him changed, changed him a little bit, you know, for the better. But if you're just hopping on, Mr. Mooch has been 
Uh, there's another cap that's been coming around too. And I'm like, we, we can't do, we can't do another cap. Thank you. If I don't get this paint off of my hands, when I go to do other stuff, it's going to stick. Well, he's only been neutered for a week, um, but he's already stopped. Uh, he, he, how do I even say it? He just kind of had this way about him, and now he just seems like more lovey. I'm sure he'll calm down even more. But he's like four years old. Um, which the, you know, the vet said that was, that was, you know what I mean? That's harder on them when they're older um, to get neutered. Because whenever our kitten Brody was neutered, I mean, he, he was back home that night acting, acting the same stupid self. We love Brody. I just make fun of him. Yeah, Holly, that, that's still, that's how ours, that's the stage we're in with Brody. And um, I don't think that's the neuter. That's that, that's that stupid kitten, you know. Uh, ours, our older ones were about a year and a half, I think, before they stopped acting like, you know, the, the you know, bounce off the wall kittens. Brody is a, um, he's a gray tabby. Okay, so um, I want to take our white paint and I'm going to uh, highlight a little bit where I'm going to stitch his eyes. So I'm just putting a little bit of white paint in our tray and I'm gonna get a brush. Oh, kittens are crazy. First couple weeks we had Brody. Um, he literally, you, you always hear those stories about cats climbing the kittens, or cats. Kittens climbing the curtains. And it, it was true. You should see my curtains. They are full of um, snags where um, Brody literally was climbing the curtains. Thank you, Karen. Uh, this paint tray is, it's like, it's designer. Um, it was very expensive. Um, they're hard to find. Miss <laughs> Karen, you go to the thrift store and uh, pick you up one of these uh, one of these trays. They work really well. So I am putting some white highlight where I am going to be putting the eyes. And I'm doing a dry brush method. You know, where we'll dip the paint into the brush and then work that uh, paint up into the bristles. So when we come over here and then apply it lightly. Because the million dollar thing I say all the time is Your son was climbing the curtains. 
<laughs> but I was going to say my million dollar thing I say all the time is you can always add more paint, but you can't take paint away. So always go light. The, the, the sun climbing the curtains makes me think of my niece. When my niece uh, was teething, and I don't know how old she had to have been because she was stand, you know, she was standing. I'm pretty sure she was walking, but because uh, I used to take care of her whenever she was, um, my sister was still working when she, when you know, when my niece was little. But she um, she would chew on the end tables, <laughs> you know. I'd come in and it's just, she'd be in there, had just, you know, on the end of the end table. Um, and she'd just be watching TV while she was doing it, like chewing on that end table and keeping her eye on the TV. Which that makes me think about, you know, about the time that she was little like that. We had a golden retriever and her name was Goldie. Um, exactly, Erica. But when we, that golden retriever we had, and she was the best golden retriever we ever had. Um, but I had gotten her a little... Uh, like pleather, vinyl -y, uh old lady pocketbook uh, at this thrift store. And it was a pocketbook about that big. And it, you know, it just opened up at the top, like it clipped, you know, and then shut. And then it had a handle on the top. Um, so uh, I put some coupons for um, dog bones and dog food in her little pocketbook. And I put some treats in there. And uh, what else was in there? Did I say I put, there was dog bones in there, but it was the cutest thing um, because her, we would say, Goldie, go get your purse. You know, and like if we were gonna go for a ride somewhere, Goldie, go get your purse. So Gold, Goldie would go get her purse, literally. <laughs> and, uh, she would just dig as you please. She was so proud. She'd go out there with that, you know, that pocketbook in her mouth and get in the car and she'd hold it up, you know, and uh, sit there and you could see her through the window. She was just, she was the best dog ever. So we've put some, um, highlight on for our um, our eyes. I think that's good. She used to get the paper too. She would get the paper and the mail. She knew when the paper boy was coming and when the mailman was coming. And she got so excited. The next golden retriever we got, I don't even know how she got her golden retriever license because she was just a very strange dog. Oh, but go! I love goldens. And Goldie, she had, we had, gave her a birthday every single year. And she literally would sit uh, at, at the kitchen table. She would jump up right in one of those chairs. And then we'd put her cake in front of her and take pictures. She was just such a good dog. Like I said, the next Golden we got, 
com uh, just complete opposite. So we're going to go in and do the eyes now for the, and let's, I'm going to come in underneath this time with my doll needle. Oh, yours gets on the trampoline. That's precious. Dogs are funny. But cats are just, like for us, just easier to take care of. So I'm going to stitch back and forth between uh, between the eyes here. And I don't like where that one landed. I'm not on my game tonight, if y'all have noticed. <laughs> Marlene, my niece has a golden doodle. And he goes over 100 pounds. The trowel. Yes, the big poops with the uh, big dogs. Definitely on that. You guys following along okay? Did I, um, oh, Marlene, I'm telling you, my niece with that golden doodle, same thing. He goes to doggy daycare. He is once, and then she'll take him, um, is it to Starbucks? I think she takes him to Starbucks and gets him, uh, I think it's called Puppuccino. You guys have any questions on what I'm doing with the eyes here? I'm stitching back and forth. Going through the head. And I'm making like a, um, I call it like a snowflake stitch. It's, that's not what it's actually called, but um, I do an X and then I do a plus on top of the X. So your dogs know what that means, huh? You guys think eyebrows or no eyebrows? 
hearts. Hit that heart button if you like the eyebrows. And hit the like button if no eyebrows. So hearts for eyebrows, likes for no eyebrows. Thanks, Tony. Um, it's a mix. Thinking you guys are saying no eyebrows. So we will skip the eyebrows. Um, did I say it right, Utana? Um, the, the pro hello. producer, can you put that uh, free pattern sheet up again? I'm not sure how I do eyelashes. Okay, so we have his eyes done. Now, throw up hearts if you think we should put some uh, blush, a little bit of color on his cheeks. So hearts if you think he needs a little bit of blush. And likes, no blush. Hearts for blush and likes for no blush. It actually looks like the hearts are getting it, so we'll put a little bit of color on his cheeks. Just a little. He doesn't need to look like Tammy Faye. Thank you, Jane. So we're gonna do the cheeks the same way that we did the uh, highlight for the eyes. Oh, thank you so much, Renate. We appreciate that. So we're gonna go in and add some color for his cheeks. And I'm not gonna make it like a perfect circle because I don't want it to look cutesy. What color paint for the blush? I am using the Folk Art Barn Red. But you know, guys, I tried to order that online today from Michael's, and they did not have it. And that is the best red. I mean, it's it's like my go-to red. So that's that's worrying me a little bit. I don't know if they discontinued it or, or Michael's just isn't carrying it. Apple Barrel Barn Red is good. I haven't tried that. I'm going to have to look for that. That's at Walmart, right? So, we have some 
color on his cheeks. Thanks, Kim. I'm going to go back with my white and I'm going to hit the front of these ears. What were you wrong about, producer? Where you're at, you're at home. Wrong color, we need white. Folk art barn red, yeah. Oh, I forgot, we're not at home, we're at Aunt Lydia's house. So I'm going to hit the front of his ears inside of here with some white paint. And I also think I might just, just a little bit, and I hope I don't regret it, hit him just around the, the mouth a little bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And if you're just joining us, this is a free uh, download. Uh, and we're showing you how to make it here on the live. And the producer can throw that. Uh, throw that link up for the. Um, for that. Uh, free download sheet for to make this deer poke. So now that he has all of it, he looks like he needs eyebrows. Do you guys agree that he looks like he needs eyebrows?
Eh, we'll give him little eyebrows. What could it hoit? If you don't like it, we can pull them out. I don't, I think, um, I don't know about the eyelashes. Not that I don't like eyelashes. I just think this guy looks like a boy. At least me does. Yes, my, my, uh, my, my paint palette is a school tray. I got it at a, um, I got it at a thrift store. Oh, went all the way through on that one. Hey, Barb, how are you? Okay, so now we're ready to coffee stain. just made a fresh batch of coffee stain. <clears throat> so that's like cinnamon floating up here. Put my glasses on. Do you, Abigail? I find that I, the doll needle is actually easier because I'm not like totally... Um, Working down on what I'm working on, trying to get the needle to go through. That made me think sticking your finger with a needle. Something, this is an, a, another uh, childhood memory I'll share. <laughs> but my sister, my oldest sister, used to do this thing and she just thought it was the neatest, funniest thing to do. It grossed me out, but she used to take, you know, my mom's pins and like put them right through the surface of her skin, uh, you know, and chase me around with it, with these, all these pins and stuff in her uh, fingers. Used to freak the poop out of me. I wonder if she would still do it now. You did that too, Renate. <laughs> okay, so we weren't the only weird ones. <laughs> yes, I said my sister would do that and it, it would just freak me out and then she'd chase me around the house. Got our guy coffee stained, so we are going to dry him. Hey, 
Thank you. I'm thankful he wound up turning out looking like a deer because uh, whenever we first came on, a lot of you thought he was a goose or a dog. So uh, we're doing good here. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks, Barb. I forgot the post office was closed today and I was beating cheek earlier trying to get all those orders packed up. And then I looked at the producer and I'm like, the, the post office is closed today for Columbus Day, isn't it? He's like, yeah. But that actually is why I was running late on getting on here this evening. Yes, uh, Barb, yeah, it's a free download sheet for everybody but you. <laughs> no, Miss Judy, we don't have any grandkids. We don't even have kids, <laughs> just our kitties. Barb, that was free for everybody but, but you. Aunt Lydia said no, no to you. Yep, just us our cats, Miss Abigail. Our one cat, uh, nice Carrie. Uh, our one cat, Axel, he loves the sewing machine, especially the thread, which is not a good thing because he tries to eat the thread. So whenever we sew, we literally have to put him in another room. I just, I don't know what his fascination is with that thread, but it's just his jam. Lynn is the one that takes the pins. All of ours do that, Marlene. <laughs> Karen. 
I'm holding these felt ears down while I dry because I'm not sure if they'll melt or not. So I'm just kind of trying to protect them. Um, Chestnut Junction came from whenever my husband and I first got married, we rented a little house on the corner of Chestnut Street. Um, and the other, the street on the other corner was Pike. Um, but our address was actually Chestnut Street. So that's where we got the Chestnut. And then, uh, where two streets meet, it's a junction. So... That's how we came up with Chestnut Junction. Hey, Rhonda. We had neighbors that had pit bulls. One pit bull was, I mean, just the, he was such a softy. But then they had another pit bull, and he, it was a male. So the male was really nice. But um, the their other pit bull was a female, and she was cray cray. And she actually um, attacked their cat on our porch. Um, the neighbors, so the neighbors owned both the pit bulls and the cats, the cat, but that pit bull literally, I mean, just, that poor cat wound up with puncture wounds, uh, on him. But the male, he was just such a sweetie. It might. It might protect it. Okay, so I'm going to take my sandpaper. Yeah, they're, uh, they're male pit bull. He was so sweet. But after I watched that female rip into the cat. I never did trust her after that. I'm just going through and I'm not giving this a full sand. I'm just scuffing it up to make it look old. Oh, you have two, two, two female pit bulls? Yeah, I've never been around them besides those ones my neighbors had. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and attach him to a stick here. And I'm not I'm not sure how long our stick is. What did I do now? 
towards it just after five. Oh, okay. Producer's telling me to uh, pick up the piece. Okay, so we have our stick. We have the opening and the bottom of our deer. So, <clears throat> and you're going to have to work that stick. So I usually twist it, but you're going to have to work that stick up into the stuffing. <laughs> Those are some big antlers. <laughs> are you talking about me or the deer? So, really, Carrie? Okay, that it better be the dear Miss Sandy. I thought you were getting fresh with me again. So we've got our 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 deer on the stick, and I'm going to grab our jute. Thank you, Rhonda. And we're going to... Aunt Liddy is out watching TV. She was watching uh, Wheel of Fortune whenever we, we got on here. So we're going to wrap the jute. No, I'm going to put uh, antlers on him. But I wanted to do this first. Um, so I wasn't like, you know, beating him around, uh, trying to attach him to the stick and, you know what I mean, and take a chance on breaking his antlers. <laughs> Judy, you need those sticks. So we've got him tied on to our stick. And then my other thought was, I wanna put like a rain around him, um, but do I wanna do that with jute? <laughs> yeah, those husbands don't understand, do they? Do you guys like it with the rain on him? So hit the star, hit the hearts button if you like the rain. Uh, hit the like button for no rain. So tap that heart button for the rain and the like for no rain. Looks like I'm getting more hearts. So I am going to, I've got my hot glue gun here. 
And I'm going to try to do this as gingerly as possible because I don't want, um, I don't want to see a bunch of glue. So I'm just putting a little dab of glue on there. Uh, my glue gun says it's an ad ad tech two temp or my glue tool. I know, I can't use the G, it's a tool. I might end up in Facebook jail for that. I wonder if I should give this a knot at the bottom. So I, I gave that a knot under the bottom. And then I'm gonna knot it back here. Well, I don't like that knot. Really? Tell you, well, last time we were live, Hubby, Hubby, the producer, he got shut down uh, for replying too many times to you guys. So he, he was blocked from commenting. don't have a lot of options here with these antlers.
right, so I'm just trimming up the ends of my sticks to make them uh, look a little cleaner. So what I'm going to do is decide where the antler should be, and then I'm going to take my scissors and just cut a tiny little hole there. What I want to do too is, Mr. Producer, Was Miss Tracy on? Hi, Miss Tracy. Um, I've given him a little, a little green tie there. Thank you so much, Miss Vicky. I want to jazz him up a little bit here. I'm trying to figure out how, though. a little uh, this rusty bell on here I will either be auctioning him off or I may list him in my Etsy shop The producer is secretive. <laughs> He's more shy than me, can you tell? I told him though that he has to uh he has to do some of those uh cricket tutorials because I don't know how to use the uh, cricket like he does. So 
So I added a bell there to the side. But you can jazz up this this guy any way you like it. I think if I would go back and do it, I probably would have added maybe a bell here. And I think pine would look nice too, but I'm trying to figure out how to uh, make the pine work. I think that's too big. Oh, thank you. You need help with the crickets? See, I don't, I'm not good at it either. That's why the producer's going to have to get on here and help us. Do you like that with the um, pine added to him? Thank you. So we'll tie that pine on there too. That's if it wants to cooperate with us, right? I'm glad you like the pine. And you don't have to put a green tie on it. You could put a red homespun tie on this. And like I said, if I would have thought about it before, he probably would have looked cute to have the bells strung right there on each side. Oh yeah, the berries around his neck would look really good too. No, actually I don't have um, a sharing page, uh, Gerilyn, but you can, uh, you can send me, you can message your photos to me and sometimes I post them. So there is our reindeer poke. I think he turned out pretty good for, uh, for he started out as a goose and then he was a dog, but uh, he finally made it to reindeer status. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think if I do another one, I am going to put um, the bells up around his reign. That when this this would look cute sticking up out of a stocking, wouldn't it? Or like in one of your like you guys who collect the crocs, it would look good sticking up out of a croc. There we go. Okay, did did everybody make sure? Thank you, cousin Sandy. Oh, thank you, Gerilyn. Thank you, Vicki. Did everybody make sure that they got their, um, that they downloaded their pattern sheet? Oh, a wreath. That would look really nice. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you, Tina. Yes, you could use wire for the horns, the antlers. Anything you can think of. You, you can take this pattern sheet and you can use your own imagination. No, Cousin Sandy, you're not allowed downloading anything. Aunt, Aunt Lydia said no. Are you, Barb? Cool. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. Oh, you're welcome, Marlene. Okay, so... Okay, 
The producer just put up that link. So, Sandy, the producer just put up that link for you. It's there in the comments. If you guys are having trouble downloading that, um, that pattern sheet, go ahead and message the business page, the Chestnut Junction business page, and write in your message um, that you need the reindeer pattern sheet. And then I will attach that PDF right there inside the messages for you. Okay, guys. Um, we will be live again Thursday night with another nifty craft for you. Um, you can't get your computer to turn on. We may have to send the producer there to help you. Oh my gosh. Well, God bless her. God bless her. That's that's awful. Sending prayers to her. Yes, Kathy, we will be on. You're welcome. Um, yes, we usually are on between 6 and 7. Um, we will be back Thursday. Make sure you get that uh, pattern sheet downloaded. Again, if you can't get it, download, message the page, and I'll get it to you. Um, and as always... Um, for, uh, the e-patterns and any of these, like the doll needles, pins and the stuff you see us use, they are available in our Etsy shop, which is chestnutjunction.etsy.com. You too, Cousin Sandy. I, I don't know what we're going to do Thursday yet. <laughs> there he is, nose up. And this is the side we decorated. Yeah, if we were running late today. Um, so if I had had, you know, if I had had more time to, I think this turned out really good, by the way. But um, I probably would have used more red. Um, and then I would have put the bells up here. But we were, we were running late today. All right, guys, I will see you Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Um, it is always a blessing and pleasure to hang out with you guys. So uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening, and we will see you Thursday. Thanks. Bye-bye.